So it was a real flavor for me to be able to write down. And it's also a lovely thing to see. We used to see Patricia more often. It was a lovely opportunity on, on a rainy day to come to uh, Troy and, and see Patricia and to read the all. Uh, so the, um, took me, I don't know how many names, different stabs at a title to come up with this. And then I, I don't know, I think sometimes you bear down on something consciously so much that um, then maybe something can spring out of the unconscious, if you know what I'm saying. You're sort of priming it, do it. You don't know that. You, know, you think you're just doing a real hard conscious work and something will come up. You know. I think that's what happened. And that, that poem that Patricia read very well, as a matter of fact, about the snake and about the snake being uh, not very much concerned about human issues and human endeavors uh, is a perspective that I have tried to put myself into because I've been very lucky in my life. I've been exposed to nature a lot. My, uh, my family, my father's side of the family were farmers and still are. And so there are a place called Coates Bend. It's in Etowah County in Alabama. And I go there as often as I can. And it's a, just a very beautiful place. And the whole thing that you can imagine, I do all of the, the tractors and the hay and the cows and all that stuff you probably know of or have any experience with. Do all that stuff and also have a little shack that I can stay in. It has electricity. It doesn't bad for me. So that's about it. And no, no TV, you know, no phone, no. You know. So, uh, and I have had snakes turn up. And but they're chicken snakes, and chicken snakes are friends. You know. But obviously my father, these are really my father and sister are very afraid of snakes. I guess I'm that way about spiders. Maybe I'm not crazy about spiders, but, but the thing is that one thing I learned, and this is the reason I'm saying I'm, I'm, I feel fortunate, is that I, I, I was around this a lot. I, I, when I was a kid, I could just walk into the woods and stay there all day if I wanted to. Nobody would say a thing. And that's something that, that is, is just, it's just a very fortunate thing, in my opinion, it is. Uh, I, did, I remember years back, I had a student, <clears throat> I was teaching, probably teaching Thoreau or, or Emerson or whatever, and she said, I'm not a nature person. And it was all I could do to keep my mouth shut. I think I did say something like, how can you do that? I mean, don't we forget we're animals pretty regularly? You know, we think, we think we're not animals. Well, I got news for you. We are. So, anyway, the first thing I'm going to read is called Dirt. Uh, it's just a, it's a list. I mean, that, just listen for it. It's a list. The globe's old, flatulent guts, packed, upheaved, kneaded, sedimented red, black, brown, yellow, T-Rex, and mammoth burble, coal, stone, or continent, turned in turn to tree, fur, or scale, or side. Truth that mocks straight. Loam heaven. The sublimest's opposite. So, and so itself so sublime that soil, clay, sand, etc., like the thousand names of God, don't come close, but the er chime with turd can't be an accident. Since we go back as far as human can, to muck, matted hair, and doggy style is to be what you are. Shit's uppity cutting. <laughs> Skull, femur, beak, slime, claw. Talking with the mouth closed. In the 
chrome handled box it failed to me to pick out because everybody else was too heart sick and wanted to get out of there away from the woman who was obviously happy in her work my mother's most recent home in different trail place for leaves solid ether the smell looking through the gin door or sitting after a rain on the bench in front of the store that resists being understood as privet, honeysuckle, wisteria, brim bed, gasoline, or cotton poison, but explains better than any mouth. The smell drifting in the bedroom window that granddaddy never understood was his conscience at 3 a.m when he couldn't shrug off the doubts that in the daytime hide in the corner like a shy child about which of the choices was right. The woman who bore the children, the children he reared to work the land, the land he thought he paid for with sweat, but that would charge another price. Pond cup, tobacco spit in the palm, down's only way. The reason for so many kinds of green and the reason all of them wave, leave French trunk, like happy relatives at a reunion. Worm ripe, cold, cold glory. What potato eyes see and want to reach into so much they become white fingers. Why tree frogs say rain all night? Ever heard a tree frog call all night? Wonderful sound. They do, they sound like they just won't stop saying right. <laughs>